Hey guys, Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. First and foremost, I wanna thank every single one of you for liking and subscribing all my videos lately. We just surpassed 150,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support, it means the world to me. I always told you guys from day one, if you guys keep watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, I'll keep making content. Um, and I, at the end of the day, I just wanna help people and their dogs. So thank you again so, so much. I appreciate every single one of you, thank you. No. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through the steps of something that I haven't really discussed here on my channel, but it's something I use every single day, not only with my personal dogs, but my clients as well. I'm gonna be covering step by step one of the most important things in my training regimen with not only my personal dogs, but my clients' dogs as well. It's something I haven't really discussed here on the channel too much, but it's something I've been using all along right in front of you guys, and I just realized that I haven't really taught you guys how to do it step by step. And so today, guys, I'm very excited to walk you through the steps on teaching your dog the break command and all of the benefits that go along with teaching the simple break command to your dog. It not only benefits you and your dog's training, but it immensely creates clarity and builds a better relationship with any dog you're working with. You could call the break command whatever you want, really. Spaghetti, gumball, pasta, it doesn't really matter what you call it. It only matters what it means to your dog. It can create structure that most dogs desperately need. It could be a physical and mental release for whatever exercise you're asking your dog to do. And it certainly is a reward at the end of the exercise for your dog. So oftentimes there's that little gray area after you ask a dog to do something that you reward them and say yes and good job and they're kind of just hanging on like, so does this mean I can go? Because you've rewarded them, you've paid them with food, but there's that little transitional gray area that's kind of like, now what are we doing? And the break command just breaks up all of that, no pun intended, but it breaks up all of that gray area and the inconsistency of direction of where the dog's going next. So the three things that you'll need to start this command is a dog or dogs, a leash, in some sort of motivation. So to teach this break command, I'm gonna go in the back and grab one of our board and trains who don't know the break command yet, so you guys know every step of the way so you're not missing anything. Come with me. So a lot of times, guys, you're already using the break command without even knowing it, and that's what I'm saying is it's such a nice command to start integrating into your commands if you're not doing it, because here we're gonna do a double threshold. So there's the door and then there's the kennel. So with Jeffrey, you guys know Jeffrey, he's gonna be here and I'm just gonna give him his B word. So the very first step without having any motivation is just voice inflection and body language. So I'll go over here so you guys can see me a bit better. Break, good. So you saw there my voice changed as well as uh, my body changed too. So I'm just gonna put this camera out here. I'm gonna show you how to do it again through this threshold. So bear with me on the movement here. I'm gonna set you up here. Uh, by the way, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a beautiful day in New York. Um, it's COVID, but I'm still able to work dogs here. So I'm grateful for that. So I hope everyone's having a good day, but I'm just gonna show you, uh, my body's gonna change, my voice is gonna change. So when I'm here, my body's like this, I'm very like a wall and my voice is very neutral. It's not here, it's not like, hey, bad dog, or hey, good job. So when I do this break, I'm gonna start cueing and marking it uh, with my body language, my leash pressure, as well as my voice. So check it out. Break, good job. And so you guys saw there, uh, everything about me changed to start cueing the dog that uh, things are changing and now he's on his break. So now he can do what he wants, guys. The other thing I wanted to do for you guys is give back to you guys as much as I possibly can. With, and we've done a bunch of giveaways, but now what I wanna do starting this video, I'm gonna spend an hour answering every single question that comes in after this video is posted to engage with you guys and try to give you back even more value. So make sure you turn on your notification bell, make sure you like this video. All I ask of you guys is leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you find it valuable. And starting right now, I'm gonna be in the comments the first hour after this posted and talk to you guys and engage and answer your dog training questions for the hour. So make sure 
Turn on that notification bell and I can't wait to talk to you guys. And thank you again for the 150,000 subscribers. Thank you. So I just wanna show you what this looks like one more time, guys, as far as voice inflection and body language, just to be clear. Stay. So watch how he triggers on my body language as well as my voice. So I'm already in here. Jeffrey, break. Good man, good boy, good job. So essentially that break command is to basically put them into neutral until you're ready to then assemble them for another behavior that you want them to do. So they're in a neutral zone, they can sniff, they can do what they want. Um, that's their break, they, they deserved it through work. And so I think it's interesting because the videos that I've done recently, you guys have really gotten attached to our boarding train. So I, they've become like characters in my video, which is pretty cool. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the other boarding trains uh, to teach you guys Food Breaks with Greta, which is the Golden Doodle, which I'll show you, and then Romeo, which is the German Shepherd. I'll teach you how to do the break with a, an item or motivator. And so I'm gonna go swap him out, grab Greta, and move on to the next. The same thing with Greta with the uh, impulse control as well as thresholds uh, with the break. I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm gonna fast forward it because you guys have already seen that with Mr. Jeffrey. And uh, while I'm doing that, while I'm walking in the back, why don't you guys, let's do something fun. In the comments below, let me know where you guys are from. I wanna know where you guys are watching this at and where you're at. Let me know in the comments below. So same thing with Greta guys, just voice inflection and body language. Break. Good. Sit. Stay. Break. Good job. So now Greta's on her break, which means she can do whatever she wants. She can pull me. Um, I mean, with certain extents. I mean, obviously she has a slip collar on, so she's not gonna like drag me down the road, but she's definitely able to pull me because she deserved it. She's on her break, she can do what she wants. And now I'm gonna introduce how to use the food to entice or to teach Mark shape the break command with Greta. Here we go. So I know you guys can't see me, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to do this. So Greta sit, she sits. Good. So it automatically teaches her when I tell her to break to run away from me. So she's getting that muscle memory of when I say break. See, when I say break to my dogs, hi sweetheart, they run away from me. They're like, they go find something, they know they're on their break. So this is how to implement a food break with your dog if they're not motivated by tug toys or anything like that. I'm gonna do this a couple more times and show you guys exactly uh, a little bit more in depth what I'm talking about. Yeah, come on, let's go. Greta, sit. Good. Good girl. Now, one thing I will say is your dog is gonna have to know some basics before you integrate the break, but the break for me really comes in between heel and sit. It's like my core things that I teach any dog, so. And so this is where it matters, guys. When I tell her to do something like place or sit or stay or all three, what I'm able to do is be really clear when I'm saying, okay, it's time to, to be done and you can be a dog. And so I'm gonna demonstrate all of that in a routine for you guys now to just show you like, hey, I think, cause for me, it's like, if I ask a dog to do something and I'm serious and I'm reinforcing it and I'm like, this is what you can and can't do with your obedience routine, or if you're out using obedience in reality, I also think it's really important that you tell a dog, good job, you can break. You don't always need to give them food. You don't always need to give them uh, any type of reward really, uh, except for that break command to say, okay, be a dog, you've earned it. Now let's see if she does the break command without the food to see if the actual cue that we're teaching her to go away from me or disengagement is working. I don't know how it's gonna go, let's try. Greta, place. Yes, good, sit. Good. Nope, sit. Good. Greta, break. Yes, good girl. Good job. So you guys see that she's she she immediately. That was great because what you what you were able to see is her body went okay. I'm done with you, and that's really what I'm trying to to teach her is like yeah, you, you are actually done with me. You can do whatever you'd like. And I right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna grab Romeo and just show you how you would do the introduction to the break command with an object. So same thing on the thresholds, guys, with Romeo. It's freaking bright. Romeo, break. Good. Oh well, guys, look, Taylor's back. Think she should film? Probably not, I'm doing a pretty good job. What do you guys think? All right, so I'm gonna grab some tugs and go outside with Mr. Romeo. Come on, bub. All right guys, so same exact thing that we've been doing with both other dogs, except this time it's gonna be an item because some dogs are more motivated by items than food. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you really quickly how to do this. You just take your item, break. Yes, good boy. Good job, and now I'll show you in, a, uh, in an obedient sequence as well. So I wanna show you guys just the clarity of this. 
Romeo, place. Yes, good place. Sit. Good. Stay. Break. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Nice job, buddy. It's actually the first time I've uh, played with this dog with an item, so I didn't actually I didn't really think it through because I wasn't sure if he was going to play with it or not. But that's brilliant. So taking it a step further, just like we did with Greta last time about basically throwing the item and seeing if they engage with it. I'm going to do with him, but to single it out and to proof it a little bit more, I'm going to throw the item, tell him to stay and then break him because what it'll do is it'll, it'll isolate the cue. And if it's isolated and then he does it, that tells me that he understands it. So I'm going to try that and see what happens. Good heel. Romeo place. Good place. Sit. Good. Romeo stay. Yes, good job. Beautiful man, good boy. That was absolutely perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate it. Romeo had fun, Greta had fun, Jeffrey had fun. I had fun, I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for watching and again, thank you for 150K here on YouTube. It's created a, the best community I could have ever asked for. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, to support me, all you guys have to do is like this video, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of the video, uh, share this with your friends and family. And again, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope this video helped you. I will talk to you guys next time. Hey, Romeo, break. Good boy. Thanks guys, peace. Wait.